How's it going guys? It's uh, Dan again with Laptop and again we're checking out uh, Synaptic's Force Pad. Uh, right now we're checking out uh, how it can be implemented in a game. So uh, again, the, the Force Pad can pick up your different uh, pressure uh, inputs. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how we can turn the plane. Let's see, I'm going to turn it to the right. And as you can see, as I lift up my finger and, and reduce pressure, the turning is slowed. But as I add pressure, I can do full spins. And it works on both left and right. So I'll just put more pressure there on the right, or on the left rather, on the right, and it can also go up. Let's see, and it can pick up the pressure going down. There you go. And actually, uh, that kind of uh, input is going to be really good with kind of productivity. When you um, use things like websites, uh, scrolling, you can actually use the uh, pressure for the up and the down on the force pad to uh, make scrolling much easier. Uh, it's going to kind of replace the way we currently scroll. So it's a really new, different way to look at uh, the human interface on a, on a laptop. So again, this is uh, Dan Halley with Laptop, and we're here with Synaptics and their force pad.